Hello, this is Candice with another video on the Possum Stamps YouTube channel, and today I have this clean and simple holiday card, so let's get started. I'm going to start off with my stenciling, and I have my waffle flower media mat, which I like to do my ink blending on, and I'm going to use the Possum Stamps chunky sweater background. I love this stencil. It is so cute and perfect for any cozy sort of winter cards. So I'm going to line that up on my cardstock, and this is just a simple blue cardstock. And then I'm going to blend on a little bit of a darker blue ink. So this one happens to be Summer Shower from Pink Fresh Studio, but you could use any sort of dye ink or even oxide inks for this. Once I'm happy with the blending, I'm also going to go around the edges and just kind of create a soft halo. I find that this makes the center really pop and I really like the look of that. Then I'm going to move on to my stamping and I have this adorable new stamp set. This is the Ugly Sweater stamp set and I created myself a little template that has the shirt and the bear and I just find this to be a lot easier when I'm lining up all of the different shirts and the different bear or koala from the stamp set so I don't have to do any hard work when it comes to lining things up and masking them off. I also have the mask that I created off camera and then I'm just going to put that down onto my stamp shirt and then stamp down my koala after I line it up with my little template. And that template is great because you can use it over and over and it just makes lining things up a little bit easier. So I'm going to stamp one more time and this time I'm going to do uh, the shirt that has the little ornaments on it and then I'm going to stamp the bear because I wanted two koalas and one bear. And again, I'm using the exact same mask, so my stamping was really quick for this card. Then I'm going to move on and do my Copic coloring. Of course, you could use any sort of coloring mediums that you prefer. I stamped on my white heavyweight cardstock, which I like to do my Copic coloring on, but you could definitely use colored pencils, uh, Zig Real brush pens, watercolor, whatever you would like, especially because these images are a little bit bigger, so there is some more room um, to really move around your coloring mediums, which is what I really like about these stamps. So I'm going to show you one of the koalas, the other one I colored the exact same, and then I am going to use uh, my browns for one of the bears. You'll see that I switched browns halfway through because something weird was happening with my E53, and uh, I think I need to get a new one because the ink was really dry and then I wasn't able to put ink over top. So I did switch to my E30s in between uh, just so I was getting some nicer coloring. And then I colored his shirt in a little teal color, and then I just used some N0s and N1s uh, to give the ornaments some color. Then I'm going to come in and uh, do my card assembly. So I'm just taking some double-sided adhesive and sticking down my front panel to my card base. And then I'm going to come in with one of the sentiments from the same stamp set. And I am going to white heat emboss that one um, onto some gray cardstock. I really like the look of white heat embossing on gray cardstock because it's a little softer than on black. And it, the letters still stand out quite nicely. Then I'm going to cut that down with my guillotine trimmer. Instead of cutting on the sides plainly, I like to draw two lines a little bit apart from each other, mark the centers, and then cut in with my scissors. That's how I kind of create my banners when I don't have a die that's going to fit it well. Once that was done, I'm going to come in and glue down all of my cute little bears with their sweaters. So I put the koalas on the side, and then I'm going to put my little brown bear in the center, and I think they look really cute together. And then to add a little bit of dimension, I am going to come in with some foam tape and pop up my sentiment banner. Of course, I'm going to come in with some white gel pen just to add a few highlights and details. Again, I'm not an expert at this. I just kind of put things where they look best. And Cavia has an amazing infographic on Instagram, and I would definitely suggest checking that out. Of course, lastly, I'm going to come in with some embellishments, and these are the Frosty Morning Mix, and they are so pretty. It has these beautiful blues and some amazing snowflakes, and that is the final card. You'll have to let me know if you like it down below in the comments. We always appreciate the time that you spend here with us. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future inspiration from the design team, and I will see you in another video. Bye!